Hi, this is JP from Not Lights Over Arkham. This time I'm playing the horror in high gear. For the first time with Sister Mary. Uh, horror in high gear is the third mythos pack to come out for the In Smart Conspiracy campaign. So before we go more into detail on the scenario, let's look at the changes I made with the 9 experience to my Mary's deck. First we uh, put the Blessing of Isis into the deck. Uh, it's a new card from this Mythos pack. Uh, then I also added to deny existences because those are really good with Sister Mary if you hit your uh, signature weakness. You can just ignore the horror you would take. Uh, then we have two Radiant Smites, which are made for Sister Mary, basically. Really good cards. And one Enchanted Armor. I decided to add this because I really need more uh, damage soak on Sister Mary. Uh, to fit these cards into the deck, I removed one copy of Fine Clothes, one copy of David Renfield, and two Second Winds, and two Blessed Blades. I found that the Blessed Blades don't get played very often, so uh, rather than keep them in the deck, I decided to change them. And uh, as a, a true solo campaign, I think Radiant Smites are better, because you can one-shot kill something with those and there is no uh, problem of having blessed tokens in the back. Uh, but that's enough of the changes I made into the deck. Uh, remember uh, in, in Smart Conspiracy uh, you get experience that you may not get to use right away. So these nine experiences are from the two previous scenarios in Too Deep and Devil Reef. Uh, I have a bit of a cold, so if my voice is raspier than usual, <laughs> sorry about that. Mm, let's go into the scenario. So we are playing horror in high gear. We have these old Innsmouth Road locations. Uh, we start at the. Uh, we we usually start in the uh, frontmost location. Uh, we have the rearmost location and the frontmost location. Uh, when we Reveal locations, there is a keyword road, and this has road 1, so if it has road 1, we add one road card uh, in front of it. So we are going from left to right, and the goal is to find uh, the falcon point that is in this deck. If we have a road uh, 2 or something like that, then we pick one from here and pick another from these long way around cards. These are identical, but they are, have the same back, so uh, we shuffle these and these together and uh, for, form a fork in the road, for example. So we don't know which way is the right way to go. Some uh, card effects can reveal those locations, so you know where you're going. Then um, we are driving around in a vehicle, it's the Eleanor Harper's car. There is also another car, but they, these are identical. Uh, we just have to have two cars because there is a limit of two investigators per car. So all of the investigators can drive around in one car. We start in the car. Uh, for convenience sake, I've uh, marked my car with this token. So I'm moving the token on the location, so I don't have to keep moving the car. Also, my Investigator token will be going from the car to the location. The uh, important thing to note is to read these two cards really well. Uh, when I was uh, familiarizing with the rules, I missed some <laughs> very important stuff on those cards at first. So, uh, if you are moving without the car, it takes two actions to move. Also, there's a forced effect at in, on the act deck, so at the end of each investigator phase, each vehicle that is uh, running must move to a connecting road location 
of the driver's choice. So you have to move uh, between locations if you are uh, on the running side. So there is uh, running and then there is stopped. And you can stop the car by using an action. And you can also uh, start the car. So you flip this to the running side. We start on the running side, we, so we are driving already. If you want to get out of the vehicle, you have to stop it before you can get out. Other than that, I think uh, that's all the important stuff from the scenario. Uh, so let's get started. I have pre-shuffled the decks and also added the blessed tokens on setup to the back. So we'll draw our opening hand. So we get the Blessing of Isis and two Promise of Powers. We also get the Guardian Angel and one Deny Existence. I really need to find a way to investigate. So I think I'm... Uh, well, uh, we could investigate with the Promise of Powers a bit. I think we are just driving past this point because we are only taking four or four on this one so we and it doesn't have a victory point so maybe I'll take a risk and keep this hand so uh, first action I'll play the guardian angel down second action we'll play the blessing of Isis down so the Blessing of Isis is a new card, so let's look at it a bit closer. It's a 2 cost uh, asset with 3 XP. Uh, when a second blessed token is revealed during a, ski a single skill test at your location, Exhaust Blessing of Isis cancel the token and treat it as if it were an Elder Sign token instead. Return both of those tokens to the Chaos Pack after this test ends. So, with Sister Mary, this is a really powerful card. We are constantly revealing uh, multiple blessed tokens, so that just keeps the bag full of blessed tokens for us. So we did two actions. I am not stopping the car. So I think for the last action, uh, there is also a way to move ahead. So I'm, I'm just moving ahead with the last action. So. Uh, it, okay, it was on the act card, so uh, for okay, so so at the end of the round we move again, but I'm I'm taking a risk and using the action on the card. So if you are this vehicle's driver, draw the top card of the encounter deck, then move this vehicle to a connecting road location max once per round. Okay, so I'm, I'm doing that, so I'm picking the encounter card. So it's a bumpy ride. Revelation, if you are in a vehicle, that vehicle's driver test uh, agility 3. If the driver fails, each investigator in your vehicle takes 2 damage. So I'm actually committing promise of power to that test. I don't want to take any excess damage. So we add one first token into the back. I'm testing uh, 7 versus 3. And it's a minus 1. So we pass the test, so nothing bad happens from that. Uh, we move to this location, so we reveal it. And uh, when a vehicle leaves this location, investigators at this location as a group must spend 2 clues for each investigator in that vehicle. For each clue they could not spend, an investigator in that vehicle takes one horror. So I'm taking two horror because I didn't spend any clues, but um, I have more horror so, so I'm, I'm focusing on stopping for those locations that deal damage. So let's see what this is. So it's the intersection. It's a three sharp location with two clues. Uh, row three 
Uh, trigger ability investigators at this location. Spend one clue per investigator as a group. Look at the reveal side of any location ahead of this one. So I think I think we really need to stop here and try to get these clues. Then we have to figure out which way we are going. So we pick one from this deck and two from this deck. And we shuffle these up. So we don't know which is which. Like so. And that is our turn, but we uh, can't stop now because this is the end of the investigation phase, so we have to pick one of these. Which is, uh, well, uh, there's nothing bad happening if we are moving, so we uh, just move to one location and see what it is. Okay, so we hit the long way around. So it's a road one. Uh, so, 6 shroud, 0 clues, road 1, post after a vehicle enters long way around, place 1 doom on the current agenda, so we basically lose a turn. Uh, this may cause the current agenda to advance, that vehicle can leave long way around until the end of the next round. So, we can't uh, drive this forward, but uh, I think we are Set, setting up or something like that next next round okay then uh, we have a forest effect at the end of the round starting with the rearmost location set each location with no vehicles enemies or investigators aside out of play or add it to the victory display if it has victory x and has no clues on it stop when you reach a location with at least one vehicle enemy or investigator or the location behind the rearmost investigator. Okay, so uh, we are at this location. So we remove everything until here, because this is behind the rearmost location, and these are basically uh, front of the location. I'll put them like so. So we remove these. I'm, I'm not even going to look at them. Uh, we remove this, and this stays in play and to have space for next turn I'll just move everything step to the left then we go to upkeep uh, well, we should have done the upkeep first but whatever so we draw the enchanted armor uh, so a good draw to get more soap for Mary but yeah that is the first turn let's go to the next turn we add a doom to the agenda uh, to the threshold for this agenda is 8. Uh, we draw a counter card and it is ancient evils. So we just add a doom here. Okay, well, uh, nothing we can do about that. We have no cancels in hand. So I'll start my turn by playing the enchanted armor. I'll just place it over here. So it takes one arcane slot and the body slot. Second action, I'll just draw a card. And let's draw another card. Okay. So, uh, at the end of the investigation phase, we would move, but uh, this location prohibits us from moving. So, we can't move this turn. So, uh, we just stay put. Uh, we go to upkeep phase. Uh, we draw a card. We get a Spectral Razor. We gain one resource, and we add a blessed token into the back. And that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add another doom, and counter card for this turn is Ancient Evils. Who shuffled this deck? <laughs> well, we are losing time, uh, precious time. Um, so, well, it is what it is, but I really hate that card. It's not that bad in... Uh, True solo, but in like multiplayer, it's really, really annoying. Okay, well, this turn, I think we are just moving the car forward. So, action will grab an encounter card. We hit fracture to consciousness. 
a reveal test book 3 or intellect 3. If you reveal a, a tablet token during this test, you automatically fail. If you fail, take 2 damage. Uh, hmm. Well, I, I have plenty of damage soak, so I'm just testing uh, 2 versus 3. Maybe we hit a bless. There is plenty of blesses in the deck. Uh, there actually should be one more. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think I forgot to add a bless token during one of the earlier turns. If I didn't, yeah, I didn't, but yeah. Okay. Um, it's a minus one, so we fail. We take two damage. I'll take the two damage onto the Guardian Angel, so we have two blessed tokens in the back. Then we move into uh, this location. So it's uh, a tight turn. Road 1, forced when a vehicle leaves this location, investigators at this location as a group must spend one clue for each investigator in that vehicle. For each clue they could not spend, an investigator in that vehicle takes two damage, so uh, we really don't want to take the damages. So I'll stop the car, and it's a free action to get out, and I'll try to investigate for my last action, and I'm using the other promise of power for these tests. So I'm testing 6 versus 4, and we add one curse token to the back. It's a skull. Skull is a minus 1, minus 3 instead if there are 6 or fewer locations remaining in the road deck. And uh, this is the road deck. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 locations. And the uh, um, target location is in the bottom 4 cars of this deck. So we succeed, we get this clue, and that is our turn, no enemies, we go to upkeep, just put it here. Uh, we draw a card, uh, we hit the mob enforcer, we add a blessed token into the back, and we gain one resource, so I think we have to kill off the mob enforcer next turn. So the mob is on to us while we are investigating the roads. Oh yeah, and I forgot to put the road one location here. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. And one thing I forgot to do last turn is to uh, remove the locations from the rearmost. So this goes away and this goes away. And I'll scoop this over. Okay, um, we are doom to the agenda. We are at 6 of 8. The encounter card for this turn is uh, Pursuing Motor Car. So, spawn a rearmost location. Hunter, forced when Pursuing Motor Car attacks you. If you are not in a vehicle, it deals plus 2 damage for this attack. Forced when Pursuing Motor Car attacks an investigator in a vehicle, it attacks each of other investigator in that vehicle as well. It deals 2 damage and has 4 fight, 4 health and 2 evade. So I'll just place it over here. So we have to... Uh, we have the first pursuing enemy on our heel, so we need to deal with this mob enforcer, jump into our car and uh, get away from that pursuing motor car. So first action will be to Spectral Razor, the mobster. We could actually play the Sword Cane, evade, jump into a car, and yeah. I, I think that that is a better plan, so we get this played. So we play the Sword Cane, it's our first action. It doesn't cause attacks of opportunity. We can trigger its ability right away. So we are evading the mobster, uh, we are evading uh, 4 versus 3, we 
we hit a plus token and a minus one. So I'll use the covenant, sacred covenant to return this into the bag. We still succeed with the minus one. So this mobster is evaded. Just place it over here. Second action, uh, we'll jump into the car and we move out and I'll spend the clue so we don't take the damage. Uh, we draw an encounter card to move. Bumpy ride. Uh, we are testing uh, agility 3. If the driver fails, it's investigated in the vehicle, takes 2 damage. So I think I'm just testing it. Less. And uh, minus 1. So we succeed. And this goes away. And nothing happens from that. We move to this location. And it's the cliffside road. So, uh, road 2, route 2, clues, road 1, horse. When an invader leaves this location, <coughs> investigators at this location as a group must spend 2 clues for each investigator in the vehicle. If they cannot, the vehicle's driver test uh, willpower X or agility X, where X is the number of clues they could not spend. If the driver fails, their vehicle is removed from the game and each investigator in the vehicle takes 10 damage. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, well... Oh yeah, I, I have to recount. This should be on this side. So I think that was... Uh, first action was evade. Then we did a free action to move into the car, start the car, and move the car. So we don't have actually any actions left, so we can't stop. Oh no. Uh, so uh, we are not stopping, so we just need to pass this uh, test here. So we can spend two clues, so we are testing it. Um, willpower 2, I'm 4 versus 2, bless, bless, so we trigger this, so we treat this as an elder sign, so we add a bless token into the bag, let's see, Cancel that token and retreat it as if it were an elder sign token. Instead, return both of those tokens to the guest back. And so we return everything here. Okay, well, that went better than expected. So uh, we move here. It's a road one, two clues. Okay, so we're uh, getting a bit ahead of the bad guys. So. Oh yeah, this guy is evaded actually. So uh, we have a good gap. So we can uh, maybe stop here and investigate for a bit. Uh, because if we move out of here and we don't spend any clues, uh, we get an enemy. But yeah, that's uh, investigation phase. Uh, we go to the enemy phase. Uh, this hunts here. This ready is in the upkeep. Uh, we remove this from the game. We draw a card. We get drawn to the flame. Really good pickup for this turn. And we add a plus token and get one resource. That is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add a Doom to the agenda. We are at 7 of 8. Encounter card for this turn is... It's a hit gun. It's a 3 fight, 5 health, 3 evade vehicle, humanoid cultist, spawn rearmost location, hunter retaliates. Hit gun cannot attack during the same phase it moved 
via its hunter keyword. Okay, so it's uh, not not an immediate uh, problem, but these guys come at me quick, so I have to start moving soon enough. Uh, I'll use the free trigger ability to move out of the car. Oh no, I, I first have to stop the car. So we stop the car. And uh, I can only move in or out of the car once per turn, so I can just hop off and hop back in. So we are stuck here for this turn. Uh, second action, I'm drawn to the claiming this. Hang on the card is malfunction. Okay, well, uh, our car is broken, so we can't start it. So, Revelation attached to the nearest vehicle story asset. Uh, action abilities on attached asset can be triggered. At, uh, action ability test intellect 3. If you succeed, discard malfunction. So, we really need to get rid of that. But we got these clues at least. Uh, Okay, that, that malfunction is real trouble. So I'm thinking uh, this should be ready. I'm just trying it once. We have a ton of less tokens in the back, so hopefully we hit one. So we're testing two versus three. Okay, well, uh, now we just hope to hit uh, minus one or better. And it's a zero. Uh, we have to spend this, but we managed to remove the malfunction. Uh, that is the investigation phase. Uh, we are stopped, so the vehicle is not moving. Enemy phase. Uh, all of these enemies hunt to the cliffside road. Uh, this gets removed. And go to upkeep, we draw a card, we get the Ward of Radiance, that's really good. And we gain one resource and add a plus token into the back. That is that turn, let's go to the next turn. We add uh, a Doom to the agenda, so the agenda is advancing. Uh, we are using the version 1 of the Agenda 1A. There is two versions, depending on one result. I'm not spoiling that result, but uh, you might guess what it is when I reveal this. So we get the Terror of Devil Reef, Relentless Monstrosity. It has 3 fight, 6 health and 3 evade. Monster Elite, Spawn, Rearmost Location, Hunter, Massive Retaliate, Host, when the Terror of Devil Reef would be defeated, instead remove all damage from it and exhaust it. It cannot ready for the remainder of the round, in, and it deals 2 damage and 2 horror. So, uh, th that is a real nasty, nasty thing to have. Uh, we really need to try and run, run away from it. So we have a 4 pursuing enemies on our heels, so we really need to get going. Uh, Encounter card for this turn is it's a hybrid assassin. Okay, uh, it spawns on us. So now I'm thinking I'm gonna uh, Spectral Race or this, jump into my car and drive off. Okay, I have to count so. Uh, Hit, uh, start the car, drive off, and hopefully uh, we, we have the War of Radiance if we hit that nasty treachery. Okay, first action, we are Spectra Razoring this hybrid assassin. Uh, the reason I want to keep, um, kill it this off is because this, this guy hunts double, so it would be on us quite soon other way. Uh, we are hitting uh, 7 versus 3 and it's a 0. 
we deal three damage because this is not elite, so it's defeated. Free action will move into the car. Second action will start the car. Last action, just checking. So we are using the two clues. So we don't spawn an enemy. Uh, we draw an encounter card and it's they they're catching up and I'm definitely using the Ward of Radiance for this. So these all of these <laughs> uh, enemies don't hunt. So I'm revealing five random chaos tokens and one of them needs to be a bless and one of them or an elder sign so here is four well there's a bless token so I'll just reveal the last one so we yeah <laughs> we just hit the one bless so uh, we managed to cancel that treachery and we get to move here This one, it's another desolate road. Uh, it's a pro shroud location uh, with one clue, road one. When vehicle leaves this location, investigator at this location as a group must spend one clue for each investigator in that vehicle. If they cannot discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until a vehicle enemy is discarded and spawned at enemy at desolate road, we could actually. Uh, I have no uh, ruling for this, but because this is also a desolate road, uh, could it, could we just spawn it here? Well, that's an interesting thing. I think I have to do that because I uh, I can't stop now. It's a road one. So uh, hit. Start the vehicle move, and now we are moving again. So we discard until we hit a vehicle minion. We get the hit pan, and I'm playing it as written. Not sure if it's correct, but I, I may have to consult some rules uh, lawyers around. So uh, this is a desert road too. So I'll start uh, spawn it at the desert road. It doesn't specify it has to be this uh, desolate road. It only said spawn that enemy at desolate road, and these both are desolate, so I'll place it there. Uh, we are moving here, and it's another intersection. And it's uh, road 3. Shuffle this up. Okay, two clues here. Draw the four. So we go to the enemy phase. Uh, this hunts here. Uh, these all hunt here. And at the end of the round, this gets removed. We are not getting a lot of victory points here, but it is what it is. Uh, uh, wait a second, we should have cleared this. No, 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 well, we cleared this one, yeah. Okay, so I'm scooting this over to the left again. Yeah, this is a... <laughs> quite a shuffling the locations around kind of scenario, but it is what it is. Uh, we go to upkeep, we draw a card. And we gain a resource, but first let's resolve this. So I'm just taking all of the horror, and I'm using the deny existence for this one, so we don't take any horror. 
and we add a plus token into the back. And that is why we, you should have deny existence in our sister Mary deck every time. That is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we add a Dune to the agenda. And counter card for this turn is Ancient Evil. So we add a Dune. Nothing more to that. Um, I think we have to risk it. This this is a big risk. It's a one of in a three chance. So we just need to keep moving because if we stop, we can't board the car again this turn. So we need to move two locations this turn to keep ahead of the angry enemy mob <laughs> coming our way. So first action, we'll just. Uh, Mm. I think we're moving, let's just keep a straight line. Uh, we move here, so, oh yeah, uh, we draw and counter core first. Uh, we get the wing one, it's a hunter. Okay, well this sucks, well it engages us, nothing we can do about that, just use these tokens. But we still uh, move. Uh, we initiated the uh, action before this guy spawned, so nothing else. I'm, I'm thinking I'm just taking the damage and moving with this guy. Okay, so we hit the tight turn and we would take that damage on this location, so I think we are evading this guy, getting out of the car, evading and trying to get these clues. So free action will get out of the car. No, uh, we'll have to take one attack of opportunity. I'm actually using the armor for this, and I'm testing willpower one. It's plus token. Less token and a skull. So I'm, oh yeah, I'm, I'm not using this. Uh, actually, I'm using that. We shouldn't have revealed the skull. So I have the sacred covenant still in use. So we uh, don't lose the armor. So we stop the car and then we get a free action to move out. And uh, we evade with the sword cane. So let's count again. So we, we moved, we stopped the car, and we get out for free, and we evade. So X is the shroud of the location. So it's true. So forward is true for evade. This. One, uh, I'll use the Covenant to keep the less token in the back, and this is evaded. And uh, oh yeah, oh, this is old one. We should have one location here. So uh, the next location could actually be the last one. So we might just try and. Race for a uh, run for the last location on, on barefoot, but <laughs> we'll, we'll see about that. Okay, well, anyway, uh, that's our all of our actions. Uh, we go to the investigation phase, so uh, no vehicle is running, enemy phase, uh, these guys hunt. Uh, upkeep, we draw a card, we get specs for a razor, no uh, plus tokens to add, and we get one resource. Oh, yeah, and this reddits and engages us. So, I think next turn we are evading and just moving on, hoping to outrun everything 
but yeah, let's see how that goes. So uh, we also remove this, so this goes to the victory display. I'll just just place it here. And that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we are attuned to the agenda. And counter card is. I can't see. Revelation, if you are not in a vehicle test, willpower 5. If you fail, take 3 horror. I'm actually fine with that. Uh, if you are in a vehicle test, a driver test, willpower 3. Okay, but we are in a ve not in a vehicle, so we are testing willpower. Uh, five versus uh, four versus five. I'm actually committing the hallowed mirror because I don't have time to play it. So five versus five. Bless and another bless. So we trigger the blessing of Isis. So we cancel the last token. Turn it into a elder sign, so it's a plus one, so we get plus three, and we pass. And uh, and this is exhausted here. Yeah. I think I haven't exhausted it earlier, but I only used it once per round, so that's okay. Okay, and second action, uh, we need to evade this uh, winged one. Okay, let's uh, evade using the sword cane, and I'm committing the spectra razor. So I'm evading five versus two plus minus two. I'll use the covenant. Return that into the bag. And uh, this is evaded. Uh, I'll use the last two actions to just walk here. Walk in the road. That is annoying, but it is what it is. Bomber, so we sh shuffle these. And that is our turn. Yeah, I'll just put this over here. running cars. I'll just scoot this over here because uh, we left the car back over there. Just trying to run run to the finish line now. Enemy face. Uh, this hunts here. These all hunt here. This gets removed. Uh, we draw a card, we get the uh, read the signs, that's actually really good for our situation. So we know which fork we will take if we get that clue. And we don't have any place tokens to add, so we just add one for source. So that is that turn, let's go to the next turn. Uh, we add a doom, uh, we are at 4 of 9. Encounter card for this turn is uh, another I can't see. This time I don't want to commit anything to the test, so I'm testing 4 versus uh, 5. Oh, yeah, uh, all of these are ready. It's a curse token, so we are down by a lot, and it's a zero, so we fail, we take the three horror. 
I'll take uh, all of the horror on myself. That is just fine. Uh, first action, we will investigate. I'll use the read the signs, so I'm investigating uh, six versus four. We really need to hit this, so I know where I'm going. And it's a zero, so we get this clue. Uh, we'll use the fast trigger ability to spend the clue to check which way we should be going. Uh, we don't want to go to the long way around, so last two actions I'll move to this location. Just place this here and this here. Okay. And it's road one. Just scooting everything again. Okay, so uh, there's only one, so the final location is one of these two cards, so hoping, hoping it's the first one, <laughs> so we can uh, escape this angry mob of enemies. Um, that is the investigation phase, we don't have a running car, so we go to the enemy phase. These hunt here, and these hunt here. And we remove this location from the game. Mm. I'll just remove these because I'm, I'm not going back. They just make the map look a bit silly. Okay, well. Uh, we go to upkeep, we draw a card, we get Olive a bit late, but uh, we could just play Olive for the Horror Soap and move. Because when we move out of here, we take two Horror so that's actually a good plan if we don't have a bad encounter card to deal with. But that is that turn, let's go to the next turn. We add a Doom to the agenda, we are at 5 of 9, the encounter card is a hybrid assassin. Well, this sucks, but I think we are just evading with the sword cane and running away. Uh, getting pretty, pretty clutch here. So hybrid assassin is a one evade enemy, so we're using the sword cane to evade. And it's a minus one, so we evade. We don't have any time to pick up the clue or play Olive, so we just have to move ahead. And I'm taking two horror. I'll just take it on myself. Don't want to risk going up. Well, we could take it on the armor. Uh, commit Olive to the test. Uh, test. Uh, 5 versus 3, it's a minus 2, so the armor stays good, uh, doesn't break, <laughs> after thinking about that, that was a stupid idea, but yeah, we'll move to the next location, and it's the falcon point approach. So objective, if each undefeated investigator is at falcon point approach, advance. We did it, so we get to advance the act. Safe at last, question mark. I think we've lost them. Agent Harper shouts, peeking her head out of your car, uh, car's window. You glance at your rear view mirror and confirm that you no longer see the glaring headlights of your pursuers. Warm relief flutters through you. It's finally over for now, resolution one. So resolution one, 
uh, you breathe a sigh of relief as you see the distant lighthouse beacon piercing the fog. Let's pull over here and make the rest of the trip on foot, Harper suggests. If there's anybody still in that lighthouse, it would be best if they didn't hear us approach. Her advice is sound. You're not sure what to expect once you reach Falcon Point, but all signs point to it being another outpost for the order. You double check to make sure you aren't being followed, then pull over by the side of the road. Gathering your belongings from the car trunk, you begin to trek to the Falcon Point lighthouse. In your camp log, record the investigators reach Falcon Point before sunrise. Each investigator earns experience equal to the victory X value of each car in the victory display. Proceed to scenario 6, a light in the fog. Okay, so we got uh, 1 and 2 experience, so not much, but I think it's really hard to get experience in this scenario, uh, because uh, you, you need to clear these locations, and uh, uh, as you saw, there weren't any <laughs> spare time to stop and uh, clear locations with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 enemies in pursuit at the end of the <laughs> scenario. But that was horror in a high gear, so next up we go into the lighthouse. Um, when the next scenario pack comes out. So thanks for watching and until next time.